Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to add the authentication in authorization in the Laravel API. Uh, we have the API resource for the movies and now I'm going to add authentication so only the authenticated users can make a API to these movies. Okay, for that we need to install the Laravel Sanctum package. And I have installed it with uh, Jetstream. I have installed Jetstream, and if you install the Jetstream, it's going to install the Laravel Sanctum, or you can install this one. Just uh, copy this and install. Run the vendor publish and run the PHP artisan migrate. And I have done that for to make a more quick with the video and. I have migrate fresh, so we don't. I don't have any data inside the database now. I lost the movies, and okay, we have the users now, sessions, personal access tokens, and uh, now we, we need to add this onto the API middleware in the kernel php so go to the code okay and inside the kernel php here we have the middleware groups and we have the api pass it here save come back And we need the API token authentication. We we need to create the token, and we install the Sanctum. We have uh, this use has API tokens inside the user class, user model. Okay, and now we need to create a token to use for the authentic authorization. And here we have an, an example. I'm just going to copy this and come here inside the API resource, API routes, and I'm going to pass it here. And so the token is going to the request user create token and the request token name. Okay, we don't have this request user and request user name, so I'm going to make a user here a request a validate and I'm going to add the email it's going to be required and password It's going to be required. Okay. Uh, user. I'm going to grab it from the user uh, model and make sure import that and where user where or we can do like this where email or another way is where email is uh, the request email okay I'll give you the first one And now we have the user, but we are not sure if we have the user with that email, so I'm going to check if we have the user. If we have the user, okay, if we have the user now, this is going to be user and Token name, I'm going to give it a name 
uh, movies, for example. Okay, and this is going to return the token. And with the token, we can get the token like this, but I'm going to test this one. So we're going to need to go to the tokens, create, and I'm going to go to the insomnia and create new request here. I'm going to call it a get token method is going to be post create one and tokens create okay I'm going to copy this from here get token and tokens tokens create okay the header is going to be okay contact type is and I got the same thing Okay, now body is going to be multi-part with email and not, we don't have any user yet so I'm going to create new user so Laravel Laravel API test I'm going to register because we don't have any user yet here so test test test.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine the password one to nine register yeah we have now the user and I'm going to email is test test pick.com I go here refresh yeah, test dot test and the password is one to nine. Okay, if I make a request now, and we have a token, and if I copy the token now, and I'm going to create new one, uh, get user, yeah. And header is content type and okay now if I make a request copy this pass it here API user if I go here we have this user get user and make a send request here not authenticated go here we can add the auth authorization and our token bearer uh, slash no bear and the token in the token we have here, just copy and pass the token here. Not the token here, just copy this one, pass it here, make a request now, and we have the user. Okay, so now we can. Uh, where we can start a movie and yeah we have test movie so if I go here and inside the movies we don't have any so if I send yeah refresh we can uh, 
store movie but if I go here and add this one add middleware I'm going to add the middleware here and the middleware is going to be out sanctum save come here and send again test to uh, unauthenticated but if I go here and add the authorization and here we have a token here okay copy the token and star movies pass the authorization the, sorry, we need to add the bearer because it's bearer token. And now if I send, yeah, we have starn. Okay. And that is how the Laravel API authorization works. And I think we are okay if I was very clear how to use. So we make a post request with the email and password. But if I check if the user with that email is in the user, we grab it here. And with that user, we create a token. Okay. And return a token here and with that token so if I go now to the personal access token here and you see here we have a, a tokenable type the user model with ID and the name we give it here movies okay and the token is here So if you like, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.